boy. It's all powerful stuff. That's going to be hard to beat. Electrifying! Well, the category, after some pretty intense workshopping, is the thing that makes everyone go, wow, that really is the greatest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Stinks of running out of ideas. <laughs> What have you brought in? I think the greatest thing is winning Taskmaster. That's got to be the greatest oh, thing. You smooth ah, bastard. Ah. So I thought I'd bring my trophy in, but then we've all got one of those. So I wanted to make my trophy better than everyone else's, um, so I sent it to space. Did you actually? Yes. What? I mean, I have got five sweet points. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Ed's trophy on its journey. Is shitting <laughs> It was a lovely it was amazing. piece. Amazing. How did you make that happen? They send it up there on a big balloon. Yes. Big balloon. It was up there. It got to minus 56 degrees. Your head travelled at 150 miles per hour at its speediest velocity. Wow. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> What's the final prize category? I'm so sorry. It's a big one. It's big. a big one. It's big. This time we've asked them to bring in for the prize the most cash. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lolly. So what I've done is I brought in a blank check, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put one p more than whoever is in the lead. <laughs> and just just yep. win. There's a check. Uh -huh. Yeah, but are you good for it, Lolly? What have you oh, got? Oh yeah. What cash have you got? Well, I'm sitting on two thousand pounds. What do you mean? In cash. What? <laughs> I just thought, just have a backup. I have two so I, I went to Dad. Very strong. <laughs> All right, then. Does that help you make your mind up? Yeah. Well, good. <laughs> what is yes. the prize category this yeah. week? Great please. question. Well, it's a big one. Drum roll, please. Today we've asked them. <laughs> really, today we've asked them to bring in the most surprisingly expensive oh. item. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Expensive. So it's up to you, Greg, as a taskmaster, to decide who has brought in the most surprisingly expensive item. At the end of the show, the person with the most points will get to take home all the surprisingly expensive items. Okay, so we'll find out how much they cost, and then I'll look at your face to see how surprised you were. That's the system. That works, doesn't okay. it? Okay, Sally Phillips. I've brought you a human turd. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's just go straight to the face, shall we? <laughs> I brought you one of Bob Mortimer's turds. Wow. Yeah. This is going to take some unravelling, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be professionally dried out and placed within a resin sphere and uh, be just like one of the exhibits in the National Pooh Museum on the Isle of Wight. That's all correct. <laughs> so I, brought, I brought an example. This is what it will look, look like. like. This is a fox one which most closely resembles a human one. Oh, dear. <laughs> How much do you think the whole process of freeze-drying it and then turning it into a resin ball would cost? £199. Get He's... ready for my reaction. He says the process would cost him £800. <laughs> £800 to do a fox poo. But this is a Mortimer poo. He, his conservative <laughs> estimate, the value of uh, the Bob's yep. poo, uh, yep, is uh, between 10 and 15k. Whoa! Whoa, milk me! I see. Can I want to? <laughs> no! 
that's told the last me. I'm giving away. <laughs> uh, price task. OK, and kindly suggested by Greg, in honour of me, you said, me, Mr Alex Horn, today's prize category is the creepiest thing. <laughs> One left. Oh, no. What? Every single one of the prize tasks for this whole series... Oh, that. ..it has essentially been a picture of me looking fat. Or... <laughs> so, given the title Creepiest Thing... <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a rare occasion where I'm not entering that picture of you. It's not a picture of me at it's all. It's not a picture of you at all. It is a short film. <laughs> would you like to see the film? Uh, I would. Yeah. She made me feel dirty. <laughs> Saw you out. Did you no, check? You didn't. Fucking hell. <laughs> the audio on it is quite nice. There's one point where you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this week we've asked the contestants to bring in the nicest thing to hold. Hmm. Yes. Greg's going to judge which he thinks is the nicest thing to hold and give five points to the person that brought it in. At the end of tonight's proceedings, the overall winner will carry five things home and have a thoroughly nice time in doing so. Paul! <laughs> so, this dates to 1983 and it is the chess oh. tournament trophy for Dulwich College Preparatory School. It's um, a little bit on the rusty side, but it's my proudest possession and I hold it all the time. Oh. And the reason I hold it all the time is, oh. is all these recordings of Taskmaster have utterly crushed my spirit. <laughs> I had no idea until the Taskmaster that I was actually as thick as pig. <laughs> <laughs> because the recollection I have is of a 13-year-old teenager winning his school chess championships for the third time, <laughs> bringing it home to my dad, saying, because I won it, like Brazil in 1970, they let me keep the trophy. <laughs> and the reason that you'd really like to hold it, Greg, is the thrill that it's stolen goods. <laughs> because when I said to my dad, they'll let me keep it, I was lying. <laughs> powerful stuff, Greg. It's all powerful stuff. And to start this series, the category is the best thing you can carry, but only just. So, if it's either easy to carry or completely impossible, it's just not going to cut the mustard with us. So, back off, son. Michael Wozniak. Um, uh, the thing I can carry but only just is, is a tune. Oh. A tune. Oh. So now, I can... this... This duvet and potato yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is lateral thinking. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, here's the CD on the screen. This is what the winner is going to get. Mike has provided the backing <laughs> track, which I will play now. Facts about animals, prawns are cannibals. If there's an elephant in the room, then you're in the wrong room. Cutting an earthworm in half makes you a sadist. I think it's worth repeating that prawns eat their babies and monkeys eat monkeys, but who gives them monkeys? Monkeys. And if you squash a wasp, it releases a chemical from the wasp that attracts people who tell you facts about wasps. <laughs> You can, you can carry a tune. You're a really good singer. I don't know, Sarah. It sounded fairly awful. Really? <laughs> and it was a sort of nightmarish <laughs> vision of nature. They're absolute wrong uns, uh, prawns. I'm just writing down prawns are wrong uns, and we'll yeah. move on. And for this show's prize item, we donned our thinking caps and then asked them to bring in the hippest item of headwear. Oh. Yes. Mm. At the end of the show, one of them will go home with five items of hip headwear. OK. <laughs> Who are we seeing next? We're going to see Sally Phillips. Phillips. Well, um, it's uh, headwear and it has some hips on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of more eyewear than headwear. Isn't it's it? not. It looks it's not, like weird. But the the hips are attached to the white balaclava and on the top of the balaclava, in case this came up. Right. I've attached a beret. Do you know how I described that in my notes? I described that as hip hip beret. <laughs> yeah. Very pleased with that. I've told you about um, the jokes. Oh yes. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> 
OK, so the prize task this week... Um, <laughs> You demanded that they bring in the most desirable thing for the person below you in the alphabet, or the highest alphabetically if you're the lowest alphabetically. So, Alan has chosen something desirable for Desiree, Desiree for Gaz, and so on, until eventually Victoria has brought something in for Alan. Desiree, who have you bought something for? I have bought something for Gaz. I happen to know what Gaz really wants is a bulikuta which is a Pakistani mastiff. It's a huge dog that's super protective. Kuta means dog, and bully is a, it's a bully dog. Do you want a bully kuta? It's a bully kuta, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I've done is commissioned Idil Sukan, who is an incredible artist, to create a painting of one so that you can always have your dream dog in your home to protect you and your family. I'm so excited. Oh. Right? Isn't he fly? He's got the gold puffy coat and that everything, because that's your dog, man. That is incredible. Yes. Just give it a five points now. Yes. <laughs> this task has really backfired. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were going to insult each other. No, <laughs> we adore Gus. He has only got a one in five chance of taking it home, though. <gasps> Look, if I win that... it, I'll give it to you. Can, like, can I... you do that? Yeah, of course. No. Stop being nice! <laughs> Me too, guys. You're totally having it. Thank you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have defeated the format of your show. <laughs> you haven't, because I'm going to go backstage and cut that painted up. <laughs> Today, you've asked them all to bring in their most important document. Yeah. Thank you. Joe, what have you brought in? What's, your, what's important about your document? Um, it's uh, my wedding certificate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, um, the thing about this is... That when I, when I said to my missus I was going on the show, I needed an important document, I said, can I take my wedding certificate? And she said, no. <laughs> and I brought it anyway. And I'm terrified of her. <laughs> I'm genuinely... That's not a joke. I'm absolutely terrified of her. So wow. I'm, I went big early on this one. <laughs> Great. Well, I mean, that's going to be hard to beat. Right. What's the final prize task then, Alex? Well, I'll tell you about it if you just calm down a flipping second. <laughs> it's the thing that makes you look the toughest, like a nose ring or a nose stud or a nose bag. <laughs> All right, Mike. Regretting that yet? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My toughest thing has a... Um, it's tried and tested. So if I'm, if I'm scared and, um, you know, I've run out of milk and I need to... <laughs> Go out and get my nighttime milk. Yeah. <laughs> but I can see that there's some street toughs by the news agents, you know, <laughs> wearing leather caps and, you know. Some street toughs. Then, um, <laughs> if that happens, then, then I do this. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. What? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> then it's Mr. Tough Guy time. <laughs> TikTok, it's Tough Guy o'clock. And the bishop's hat may be going some place a bishop's hat should never go. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? I'm so jealous. If I have brought in a punk rock hairdo wig. Here it is. Wow. Um, wow. Which uh, the winner nice. is welcome to. I'm genuinely speechless. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs>